Hi everybody, it's Diana with Stamping with Dye. Welcome to my YouTube channel and this week's Dyes Shorts. And I'm going to be doing um, a new kit. We got this as a, um, everybody got one when we went to on stage. And it is the Hooray for Honeycomb kit. So I think I showed it um, briefly on my um, on stage video when I was showing you all the stuff we got. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to show this. I'm going to assume that it's one of the April kits. Um, they may have told us, and I apologize I, if they did, I, I missed that. Um, but, you know, I would think that that's, that's what it was. So that's what I'm going to do today. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Diana, and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and I'm in Santan Valley, Arizona. So welcome, welcome. If you are new, um, I'm watching live with you um, during the premiere in the chat room. So if you have any questions, just head on over to the chat, and then I can answer you. If you're watching the replay, just make sure um, if you have any questions or comments, just put them down below and then YouTube will let me know that um, I need to um, answer you or um, so I can reach out to you. Um, so yeah, so that should be um, all my blabbing at the beginning. <clears throat> so close your eyes just for a second while I get my camera adjusted. Okay, hold on. Before we get started with the kit, I want to show you a couple cute cards I got. I got this one. This one is from Hilda. And look how cute this Easter card is. Oh my gosh. So this little um, bunny punch is retiring as well as a stamp set. And I was like, oh, I'm so glad I got it. And then I looked and I only had the stamp set. For some reason, I didn't get the bee punch or the bee punch or the bee. It's not a bee, <laughs> the bunny punch. So I quickly <clears throat> got that in my cart and got it ordered because it is retiring. So um, remember the sales prices don't start on the retiring list till April the 9th. But if you really want something, you don't want to wait. So I did do a video um, with the last chance. Um, products the other day on my channel so you can see them you can flip through the catalog with me um, that's the main catalog as well as the mini catalog um, because and look she even put it on a wobble I love that so thank you so much Hilda and then when we were headed to um, Houston we stopped and I got to meet one of my downline Gloria and look how cute Look how cute. I love this. All the little details in the in the um the the buildings and stuff. It was so cute. But it was so awesome to meet her. And um like I felt like I knew her because I've you know I've seen her in Zoom and stuff, but um but yeah. So also don't forget, so as well as the, the new catalogs coming, there are some price changes um gonna be going on. Um, with the new catalog, um, I swear everywhere you go, there's there's price changes. So um, like the cardstock's going up, basic white, you know, just a lot of that. Um, envelopes, adhesives, um, like the inks even. Um, some are going up quite a bit. Some are just like 50 cents, 25 cents here and there. But still it does add up. So I would, um, if you know there's something you use all the time, um, you know, say there's, um, you know, you've got some Stampin' Blends on your list, make sure you grab those. Those are going up too. Um, just, just, you know, kind of keep that in mind. Um, so you want to, um, you know, use your money wisely, right? All right, so these are just um, some of the things. There could be some things that are missed. Um, but if you do, here is my hostess code for the month of March. So if you um, need anything, make sure you use that code. And that's if you're ordering less than 150 before tax and shipping. Because you, if you order um, more than that, you're going to get your own hostess benefits. So then you don't want to use my code. But if you're ordering less, then please use my code. And then that helps me do the goodies and the guts um, each month. Now remember... Um, this month, I'm like looking, I have it somewhere. This month, I only have the goodies. 
um, just because I'm still um, recuperating, I'm still recovering from my broken arm slash elbow. Um, so if you order 75 before tax and shipping, you're going to get um, this cute memories, sweet thoughts, memories, and more card pack with your thank you card in April for your March order. So that's a 75 before tax and shipping um, that you need to order um, in the month of March. Now that can be a couple orders. It just has to total um, up to 75. All right. So um, hopefully you've got a little bit of a look at that um, just so you have an idea. Um, but like I said, um, if there is something that you use all the time, you know, like I'm always using basic white cardstock, you know, things like that. Um, so I definitely am going to be looking at this list and grabbing a lot of stuff that I use all the time. And um, just to to save me a little bit of money when um when the um catalog goes live and i can order more stuff oh my gosh it's i have to pull out all my retired stuff so i still have to do that um so that will be this weekend all right so let's get to this kit so this kit is hooray for honey oh can you see that there we go hooray for honeycomb kit and like I said, this was an all, all attendee, um, all attendee giveaway. So, and I had already showed you how to open that one. Oh my gosh, I'm still very stiff. I've had a few physical therapies. Um, the one I had the other day was super hard. Oh my gosh. I had to stop quite a few times in between to finish it, but that's good, right? But I'm still very limited in um, my twisting, like like my wrist hurts because I can't I can't really twist it, you know, beyond that. So hopefully that will get better. It's been um, one month today since I had this surgery, so I guess I need to not be impatient. Okay. So let's get going here. I probably should have opened this beforehand. All right, so I can see in this kit, I have a feeling it might be all inclusive because there was no spot. So we've got dimensionals. We've got some baker's twine. This looks like a fun break. Kit. All right, so these are the cards it's going to make. So it looks like it makes nine. I think that's pretty much the magical number of cards that the kits make. But look how cute. Look how cute. All right. So let's pull out, got our chipboard. So I always say like if you are stamping on the go, the chipboard is great to have as a table base um, because it gives you that little bit of um, gushiness. All right, it's also clean, right? All right, so we have, oh, they're, um, look how fun they are. They're um, embossed, can you see that? Look at how that the rainbow is embossed. Now. Everybody always like when I say I do my I store my colors Roy G Biv and this is what I mean by Roy G Biv you have red orange yellow green blue indigo violet um, and that's what Roy G Biv means and and I I learned that years ago from Granny I don't even know like why she would have taught me that but anyway that's where I learned it um, I also remember years ago. Granny had these notebooks, and on the back of the notebook, it had, um, and that might be where I learned it, that Roy G. Biv, but it also had, like, um, how to do, like, math, like, sub, um, multiplying. Like, I remember there was a graph, and it'd be, like, a one, and then you'd go over to this one, and it would bring you to this, and that would be your answer. Like, there was a whole bunch. So this booklet, and it probably was, um, you know, left over from when my mom was little, my aunt, my uncle. Because Granny and Papa, they were, you know, they, they, they raised us. We lived with them for most of our lives. They were from that time period that you did not throw anything away, right? 
you made stuff last, you learned how to do things on your own. I think that's why I have, you know, I have that um, mentality, you know, just because I was raised by an older generation. All right, so I'm just going to pop these out because I'm going to, I'm pretty sure I need the English ones. Okay, I kept one envelope out. And... Okay, and then we have, look how cute this is. So this is the same way. The blueberries are shiny and embossed. And let's see, congrats. I was like looking at that and I'm like, congratulations. What's there? All right, so congrats. And very proud of you. I don't see any more English on there. Okay, because I'm just going to do one each. Just because of the time, time restraints. All right, so I'm going to assume I want one of these. You know what they say about assuming, All right? All right, I want one of these. But since there's three and I have to do three cards, that's why I'm going to assume I'm doing it properly without looking at the instructions which is not always good, but all right. So that looks good. Set these aside. All right, so we also want a berry, blue, yellow. Okay, so the berry card is the first card. So score that. And the instructions are great because um, it just has like directions. There's no writing. So if you do stuff with like a small child or whatever, this is even easy for them to um, figure out because you, you just have to look at the um, like the pictures. Like it says fold. Look, there you have that. Then we're going to put dimensionals on the green. I guess I could be looking at the picture. Um, we're going to put dimensionals on the green. It says three. And glue dots. Now it does come with these little glue dots. And you know me, I'm not a fan of these. So I always use my roll of glue dots, which are right here. All right. So we're going to put. Very proud of you. So that goes up towards the top. This would be a great one for anything, right? Like graduation, anything. Okay, so we've got that. Then I want my very proud of you. And this is nice because this is actually like a die shape. So what's fun about it is if um, you want something else, you could just use a different greeting. All right, and then this has the glue dots. And it kind of goes like this. So that has a little bit of a, um, it's kind of on there crooked. So I'm gonna put my dimensionals towards the bottom of it instead of the top. So very, I love a stamp set that has like a pun. All right, so very proud of you so that goes on there like that Oops. let me turn that off there I have my tax lady coming so I don't want to turn it all the way off so I apologize for that okay so we have this big one. Oh, okay 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 so there's this big one I'm gonna put this together down here all right so there's this one I'm gonna kind of put it together upside down so we're gonna put a dimensional And 
that's going to go on there. So this is your, um, whatchamacallit, the leaf of your berry. And then I'm going to put this on here, and that has glued out. Okay, so that goes in the center, and it kind of covers covers that like. <laughs> oh, I should have made one. All right, okay. I mean, that looks right. Okay, so that's going to go there. I'm just going to put in the center there. All right, then we have our um, berry. So it sounds like, yes, yeah, see, one of these is sticky. Because see, it shows it being peeled. All right, so we're going to peel that one. I don't think they both peel, do they? Well, they both peel. Okay, so that's probably makes sense. They'll stick, stick together. Well, they don't stick together, but okay. So we have our berry. So we're gonna put our berry, half of it, here. I probably should have waited to peel that. All right, so that's down on the card. And I should have waited to peel that one. All right, and then we're going to go like this. So I, hopefully I'm straight. He's a little crooked, but hey, that's all right. And I'm just going to use my scissors to kind of poke, poke that down really good. So look how fun that is. Now, I don't know how, to be honest, I don't know how you would mail this. So this would definitely be a card um, you would give, like you would want to give to somebody, <laughs> unless you only peel the one. So that's what I'm thinking, right? I'll do it on the next one. Okay, hold on a second. Ugh. Because it's not even going to fit in the envelope. So, so that's just going to be a fun one that sits on my desk. All right, so let's see here. Because I think what you would do is you would only peel one side, and then the person, you would mail the card, and then they would peel it and finish it is is what I would, I'm thinking I should have did. Okay, so now we have these, which are <coughs> balloons. Okay. Ugh. Okay. Cause that was on the outside, wasn't it? Yeah, that was on the outside. Theirs was much straighter than mine. Okay, cause the other two, the the pu puffy out thing is on the inside, so then it allows it to close. Okay, so we have on the outside we have our cute little oh happy day. We put our dimensionals, and then we're also going to put a bow. All right, so we have our oh happy day, oh happy day, oh happy day. All right, um, and then we're going to make a bow with our twine, and I just tie it right on the spool there so we don't waste any. And then it says use a glue dot to put it on the bottom of the balloon there. Now we have some fun dies too that have bows. So you could put the paper bow if you wanted. If you have a die that does that. Alright, so we have our cute little string there. Now it's saying on the inside we're going to take the green balloon. And it's going to go right here. So we have this seam, right? We have this seam that goes right there. So this time I'm only going to do one at a time. All right, so peel. Put this along the seam. Right like that. 
and you know by the tie and then I'm going to close the card on top of it whether that's right or not I don't know but see look how cute now you're blue so to me that's going to be easier to mail it's still a little bulky you know because that's got some thickness in there um but look how cute look how cute that balloon is isn't that fun all right so there's that one and then the sun is very similar so this at least will go in the envelope so like i said um i should have left this one closed like i should have just left it so like the next time i'm only going to put half and i'm going to leave it closed and then i'm going to write i'm going to take a marker oh can i get a marker and i'm going to write what am I going to write? I want the person to remove and stick me. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully that will tell the person what I want them to do. Remove and stick me. And then hopefully they'll know to make, to make the, the berry. All right, so then we have a cute little sunflower one. And this is fun because it ha not a sunflower. What is wrong with my brain? All right, it, this is just a sun. All right, so we have this cute little sun. So we're going to put dimensional throw. Oh, we're going to dimensional that to the back of the we're going to dimensional this. I'm not reading it properly. This is why I do these so that you don't make these mistakes. Do as I say, not as I do. All right. So we're going to put this and then this goes behind. And it lo also looks like they sponged a little bit on here. I mean, it's on there just very, very, very lightly. It shows more in the picture, but I think you could um, use your blending brushes and and sponge on there if you want all right so we've got our congrats all right now we're going to put dimensionals on here so this one is so cute too all right so we have this and then we're going to trim these so you just trim these in half or you can use these just use your edges And then you'll save your full ones because these are basically these edgers are kind of like half of a one so i'm just using the edges so you're going to put one on each of the little arms of the sun ray and so many of you were like reached out to me about that chicken card i did with the um with the rays so make sure you grab Make sure you grab um, these if you want to make this card because these the, the hay truck is retiring and so is the, um, I think it's Rays of Sunshine. But, um, but I've had so many of you comment, say, oh my gosh, that was so cute. And some of you had even missed that Rays um, set. All right. So now we're going to put this on here. So congrats right over here congrats and then you did it so isn't this fun you have like the two the two clouds so i'm actually going to put my dimensionals on here so that they're in the right spot congrats you did it i love it all right and then so like before this is going to go on the inside so to me it just makes it a little bit easier so it might be fun on the berry one on the berry one you could but no because the, the leaves aren't in half so i'm just trying to think think without doing right because i thought you could put it on the inside but those leaves you'd have to cut the leaves in half so all right it might just be a fun card to give somebody without the envelope all right so here's our sun and i'm just assuming it's a circle there's no up and down all right so again put that against the 
middle of the card. Peel. Close. I find it easier to close because then you know it's going to close. If I, um, if I force it, like if I just go like this and force it, it might make the card not be even. So this way it, you know, allows it to, to close. But so here it is. So congrats. You did it. And look how fun. Look how fun that is. So here's that one. Here is, and then it has the little envelope too. All right, so here's the Oh Happy Day. And then here is this one. So it's super fun. So yeah, so I probably will just, you know, put the little leaves on there. <coughs> Excuse me. I'll stick this like this, and then I'll mail it like this. And then, oh, that's what I'll do. Where's my little marker? Remove. <laughs> Remove and stick me. So I'm going to put an arrow. I think once I remove that and then see what it's doing, they'll know just to, like, go like that. But that's what I'll do with this one, and then I can mail it. And then it will be, like, a surprise, you know? But, um... So yeah, so this is a cute little kit. Like I said, um, I, I don't remember if they said, um, if they did, I missed it. Um, if they said when this will come out. I'm just going to assume it's going to be April. Because I don't think they would give us a kit that would, um, that wouldn't be till like a few months away. But I don't know. All right, so let me say see you later, alligator. I will see you Monday for my mimeograph Monday with a twist. Um, if you have any questions at all, make sure you reach out. Um, Monday will be, is Monday April, April Fool's Day? Oh my gosh, Monday is April Fool's Day. So, the first of the month is always so busy for me. I have new clothes to make. I have clothes to close. It's just, it's a crazy day. Um, so, so yeah. But anyway, okay, so I'm going to stop blabbing. I hope you like this kit. Um, make sure you holler at me if you have any questions. Um, I didn't even give you, like, write this item code down. Write this item code down. So the item code is 163882. Um, and then just keep trying that. Maybe try that April the 1st. But I, I think in months past, the kits don't start right on the 1st of April. They usually start a couple days in but anyways all right so hopefully you like this one and um i will let you go have a great weekend i'll see you monday for my mimeograph monday with a twist that will be three o'clock errors at a time same time same channel thanks so much for spending some time with me this week i really appreciate it bye for now